Hey guys, if you guys need your dominations, 12 and O's, Evos, anything that has to do with online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA, 100% reliable and 100% legit. So be sure to go click the link in the description and hit them up now. Okay, so here's the thing. I can't record my intro because I am losing my voice right now, so we're not going to be able to do that. But this is going to be number eight to the grind to Galaxy Opal Dwayne Wade. You guys, again, have been killing the support on this series, so I'm going to go ahead and continuously bring you guys these videos because, again, you guys have shown so much support, and we're going to keep it going. This episode is going to be pretty big because it's going to be kind of covering today and yesterday. So, again... <clears throat> If you guys do enjoy this video, be sure to kill the like button. It would be greatly appreciated because like I said, I can't even talk right now and I'm trying to and it's just not working too well. So yeah, it would be greatly appreciated. But if you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So like I said though, we are in episode number eight. Now, if you guys don't know, I did turn this from a daily series into something that I'm going to be doing virtually every other day this one you guys haven't gotten an episode in about four days because i was obviously going to visit my parents now we are super close to level uh 20 or to level 37 and we should be hitting that either by tonight or tomorrow um i am still a little bit behind here we are catching up with some of the stuff this weekly one's going to be easily done uh this one will be done by tonight this one is going to be done tomorrow and then we do have um like i said the remaining tto games i have to get a few more rebounds of ryan reeves and i am done so let's actually take a look at what i've had to do this weekend so starting off with today's dailies it was really easy to do well not this one if you were in the stream you know for some reason i could not grab five rebounds in a game with a box player we finally ended up getting it done though uh these two i did um in the same game i just played a tto offline game with two um original owner cards obviously and it was uh very easy to do today was a pretty good day it gives you 475 xp like that is really good um and like i told you guys from the beginning man as you go throughout these seasons the xp gets a lot better as you get towards the end so that's what we're starting to see now with some of these dailies but throughout the rest of the weekend i did have to do all of these season three uh jason williams challenges i did have um I guess these three, these are going to be a part of week number three. I don't know why they're not showing there, um, but I did have to do those. Um, what else did I have to do? Um, I had to finish up the diamond token market. That was another one. So like I said, it has been a busy week. Um, oh, and also these double take ones. Totally forgot about that. Um, so yeah, kind of just catching guys up. The weekly, the weekly ones are obviously the same stuff. You guys already know. There was the win the weekend ones as well. <clears throat> That is some of the same stuff as well. So you guys already know I got that done pretty easily as well. Um, but let's take a look at some of the challenges that I have done that we can actually look at. So by the end of this, I'm actually going to go ahead and track how much XP we actually were able to do. Um, and yeah, I'll let you guys know at the end. It probably is going to be close to around 20,000 XP. Um, because when I did start uh, the grind here, we hit level 35. Um, and yeah, we're at 96k. So it's I think we were even more than that. It might actually be closer to 25k over the last two days. So like I said, these double take challenges, I did go ahead and do every single one. I had to buy all the players. Um, actually, I opened up a few packs. I got in a pack. I was able to pull Hakeem, Turkaloo, um, like the rubies and sapphires. Like I opened up a bunch of MT. Um, but we were able to get, like I said, most of the cards. So we got these ones done. Um, and then we did do the rest as well. I decided not to lock in for Gerving. Um, obviously the XP would be nice, but like I said, I'm not worried about being first to getting weighed. So I don't really need to lock in for uh, Gerving really. Um, there's really no point there. So basically all those challenges are pretty easy to do. Um, again, we did see the season three challenges um, for uh, Jason Williams. Bull Bull, obviously a very nice Ruby card that did come out. Parsons were pretty easy to do. Haywards were very easy to do. Um, and then you have this Jason Williams, which again, is very easy to do. The assists, uh, the points, and the steals, I all got done while I was grinding TTO offline. I did combine that with a lot of the double take players. So like I said, the grind was actually pretty easy to do as far as like the challenges. Now the win the weekend ones, they did give you um, Ruby Amon Shumpert again, if you completed all the challenges. In limited, you did have another chance at getting Amethyst Mo Peterson. So all that stuff we ended up getting done. I got my ring pretty early. Um, and I actually got a few more prize packs, which we'll talk about in a little bit here as well from there. So that was pretty easy as well. Um, now I think 
Oh no, then I was gonna say the diamond token market. So this is where, again, I tell you guys to make sure you save your tokens for these challenges that drop. So this way you're not having to buy a bunch of extra cards and stuff like that, like I've had to do already. Um, this time I did have to buy Antonio Davis and Hal Greer. Um, I already had uh, Austin Carr and Earl Monroe. So I did go ahead and have to buy two more diamonds, which is like 120 tokens, which you guys can see we're chilling with our tokens, but still I'm trying to get enough for that opal when it does come out. So that's why I haven't bought any of the pink diamonds or anything like that yet. But we did go ahead and do those again. Same thing. All of them were done in uh, TTO offline. The only one that I would say was pretty annoying was this one for the Antonio Davis. Just because like he can't really do anything. So like that took a little bit. Um, definitely a little frustrating too when you're playing up against the computer. But other than that though, the challenges have been really good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do the math really quick and see how much XP I've actually gotten um, in the last two days. So I just did the math and I actually have made almost 29,000 XP over the last two days alone. We almost were able to hit 30,000. Like that is actually crazy. If I keep playing, we actually could easily hit 30K between um, doing Bryant Reeves and then this stuff right here. So that's actually kind of crazy to think about that the grind has really been, it's been something, like I said, the last few days. I mean, I started out at level 34. Um, I just hit 35 though. So it wasn't like that far off. So yeah, I mean, it, make, it makes kind of, it makes a lot of sense that we're only like two, like, you know, 2,200 away from the diamond contract at level 37. Tomorrow, there's going to be probably more seasoned players, I think, since it is Tuesday. Um, I think it's either seasoned players or, no, it's not seasoned players. So what is it? Maybe, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Tuesday. I don't know. There's going to be something that comes out tomorrow. Maybe idols players or something like that. I have no idea. But either way. We are going to be able to get a good amount of XP tomorrow as well. So we're easily going to be able to hit level 37 tomorrow. Um, just kind of giving you guys an update. I still don't have Wayne Embry. I've tried. I've played probably close to like, I want to say like what, 20 games today. And it was before I had the other thing unlocked too, which kind of sucks. So I wasn't able to get that like XP challenge on, but it's all good. I'm going to still play more games because I do want to try to get him. Um, we did the weekly challenge, so that was completed. All the spotlights, moments, signature challenges, all that's done. Uh, my unlimited record, we're 21-1, and 3-0 uh, and 0 as a record in the Ruby League. Again, if you guys didn't know, my one loss came from a hell game where my opponent hit more contested stuff than just about anything. Um, <clears throat> like I said, we did pick up our third ring, so we were able to do that relatively easy. And then finally, we have been able to stock up on a lot of good packs. I mean, a lot of good packs. We're going to be looking pretty good. Hopefully, oh yeah. And I actually got this diamond Antoine Walker. Totally forgot about him. Um, but yeah, we got all of these good packs. Saving them for a banger video. I'm going to wait until I get up to 50 to do another prize pack opening video. Because I think that'll be like the best thing to do. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, obviously, like I said, stay tuned for that. Now, I guess like the biggest thing that you guys have kind of missed is the fact that I've actually lost a lot of MT. I've lost 250K over the last few days because of the cards that I was buying and selling back and trying to do their XP challenges and stuff like that. So yeah, I mean, like I told you guys, if you guys do this the way I do it, you're probably gonna miss out on a lot of MT. Um, I mean, it is what it is. I already knew, you know, I know what I'm potentially missing out on or whatever. I just want to check Bo Bo because yeah, people said that he's going for like 20K, which he is, which is actually kind of insane right now. So if you guys don't have a Bo Bo, uh, look into picking one up or trying to snipe one. The reason why he's going to be important, like very seriously, is probably because of like a future like limited thing. Um, <clears throat> if there's like a restriction for like, you know, you can only use a certain number of Aminus and higher and Bo Bo's allowed, he's going to be probably the best center that you can use. I mean, he's a seven foot two center with an 82 three ball. I mean, I think you kind of have to use him. Lowry Markin is a good replacement, but he's like not nearly as expensive. So if you guys wanted a budget version of him, like a bowl bowl, Lowry Markin could definitely be your guy. Uh, but outside of that though, man, pretty good stuff. Um, yeah, so I guess that's really all you guys missed. Um, I've basically, you know, like I said, I've been grinding all day and it kind of works sort of. I mean, I've, I've been streaming all like the last two days. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so we still have like a good number of ways to go, uh, but I've been just chilling grinding TTO and stuff like that um, It's actually funny because I've gotten recognized in a lot of uh, I've gotten recognized in probably nine out of my last ten games And it, I mean it's pretty good, you know, what I'm saying nobody's giving me the win or anything like that um, But yeah, it's pretty cool I just feel bad because like I said, I'm losing my voice if you guys don't know again. I'm not sick I went and visited my parents 
And then on the way home, I was listening to music and you know, your boy jams out when he listens to music and I was screaming, I was jamming and I couldn't even hear myself, the music was so loud. Uh, and obviously as a result, I'm losing my voice plus the fact that I've streamed probably like six or seven hours the last two days. I'm trying to get back in the swing of things there as well. So trust me, I'm trying, but I do apologize about my voice being a little wacky as of today. But either way though, like I said, just giving you guys a little update on, you know, what's going on, the grind and all that sort of fun stuff. We're really close to level 37, so expect to hit that tomorrow. By the time you guys get another updated video, it'll be Wednesday. And then on Wednesday, you guys will be seeing um, probably even maybe level 38, depending on what comes out the next two days. Uh, and then Friday, like I said, there is going to be another where you should be video. If you guys don't know, that comes out every single Friday. It is always a week after I drop the very first one. The reason why I can't do it over and over again is because then it's, it's going to lose its value. I can't tell you where you should be every single day or else the videos aren't going to mean anything. So I hope you guys understand. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hit the like button so if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you guys are new. And uh, yeah, peace.